I receive a lot of questions in the comments uh, from people who are working with Windows Audio who are having issues with they can see the level meters within the mixer and as well as within the transport here. They can see activity when they're playing back their audio and they can see uh, their vocals or instrument being recorded within Studio One, but they're not able to hear any audio. And I recently ran into an issue with something like this myself, so I figured I'd put together a really quick video to show you a couple things that you can try to resolve your issues. So the first thing that you'll want to do is come to Studio One and click on Options. And then we'll want to click on the Control Panel while you have your Windows Audio. And then before we go any further, just note that we have an exclusive mode here. And if we check this, we can get a little bit better latency. Uh, this is going to only allow Studio One to use the Windows Audio. And with the audio issues that I was having, this is the only way that I could get it to work. So um, we can see here we have our playback devices down below. And I have Realtek Audio selected, which is what my the built-in audio on my laptop. I'm also using the microphone on the laptop as well. But we want what we want to take a look at is the Manage Audio devices here. And this is going to give us access to the settings within Windows. Now, the first tab is for playback. And we can see we have our Realtek High, defini high Definition Audio and we want to select the properties and then come to the advanced tab. Now within here, you'll want to be sure that you have the same settings as what you're using within Studio One. So we can click on this drop down menu and choose a different setting here. Right now, my song is set to 48 kilohertz. So this is perfect for me and I have no audio issues. And honestly, if you have this set to 41 44.1 and your song is set to 48 or something different, it's probably still going to work. Although your built-in mic is probably not, but just be sure it's always good to have the best or the same bit depth and sample rates within windows and your studio one song. So we'll click. Okay. We're all set there. And then we'll come to the recording tab. Now here we'll click on the microphone. And again, we'll go to the properties and the advanced tab. Now we can see here we have a different bit depth, but we're still at 48 Hertz or 48,000 Hertz, which is 48 kilohertz. Um, but the bit depth actually isn't going to make a difference. We'll still be able to record the microphone and hear ourselves uh, as long as we have the playback set correctly. But if you're able to, you'll still want to be sure that you have this area set as close as you can to what your song is. So if these settings don't work for you um, and they didn't resolve my problem, I was having to check the exclusive mode. What you'll want to do is come to the little speaker icon in your taskbar and right click and choose the volume mixer. Now I never ever, ever, ever open this mixer, but for some reason, Studio One was muted. And so apparently exclusive mode is going to override this being muted, but this had somehow been muted and I could, if I was not in exclusive mode, I could see audio activity, it would play back, but I had no audio. So once I unmuted, I was good to go. So these are just a few things that you'll want to look at if you are having issues with your audio in Windows with Studio One.